G'day everyone, Jamie Chapman for 3 Minute Histology. In this video, we're going to be looking at the histology of the uterus, particularly the endometrium of a person undergoing menses or menstruation. So let's start our three minutes. So the normal menstrual cycle which occurs over the 28 days is divided into three phases. Day one to day five is considered menses or menstruation. Uh, day five to day 14 is the proliferative phase. And then day 14 to day 28 is the secretory phase. So in this phase, we're looking at the menses phase or menstruation. What happens is in the previous cycle, the no fertilization took place. So the corpus luteum, which was within the ovary and was actively pumping out lots of progesterone and estrogen, it withdraws those hormones as it degenerates and becomes a corpus albicans. That withdrawal of the progesterone actually causes vasoconstriction of the spiral arterioles within the functional layer of the endometrium. Now that then causes ischemia to the surface tissue the, within the functional layer and that tissue breaks down and eventually sheds uh, um, and is released uh, during menstruation. So what we're seeing here is that we're seeing this is the endometrium, this is the myometrium, so uh, we're really focusing on the structure of the endometrium here. The endometrium is divided into two sublayers, an outer functional layer or the stratum functionalis and the stratum basalis or the basal layer. Now the surface is actually shed. We lose our surface epithelium, which is normally a simple ciliated columnar epithelium. We can probably see a little bit of a remnant of that epithelium here if it comes into focus, there it goes. And we can see lots of blood uh, cells present here. Just sort of zoom out a little bit so we get a little bit more of an overview. This is the, the stroma. These are the um, endometrial glands, and you can see they're very, very disruptive. We've actually got lots of disruption going on. The cells are dying, and the surface uh, epithelium and its stroma and the glands and the blood vessels here are all being shed uh, during this menses phase. What happens is these um, uh, you can see these bottom of the glands within the strata basal, they're still relatively healthy looking. They'll actually go to regrow this surface epithelium and grow the new glands during the proliferative phase, which is the next phase of the menstrual cycle. And that will be driven by the, the hormones um, estrogen coming from the captured developing follicles. So what you're looking for is the lack of surface epithelium, a nice consistent surface epithelium. We can nice healthy glands. These are very uh, unhealthy looking glands. You can see that the cells are all disrupted from each other and lots and lots of blood. So lots of blood is typically shed uh, during menstruation. So those are the classic features which we typically associate with um, the endometrium undergoing menses or menstruation.